Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Celtic career mode. We've reached double digits. We're on to the 10th episode of the career. We're flying through. We're almost done with the initial, with the first season of the Celtic career mode. And things are going very well, as you know. We are almost out of the championship. Today, the month of March, as you can see, is incredibly packed. I went back there. It's incredibly packed. And also, we have our first international games. Now, with the whole international thing, with the Scotland thing... I'm not too sure if we've reached the World Cup. I'm, I couldn't tell you. Maybe we have, maybe we haven't. I'm not too sure. I won't be able to tell you. I'm not going to play friendly games for Scotland in this career mode. When we get to the World Cup, if we get to the World Cup of Scotland, if they're in the tournament, I will do a mini spin-off series uh, at Scotland at the World Cup. And we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So ignore the Scotland stuff just now. Right now, the episode is focused on Celtic. The career mode is so focused on Celtic. And today's episode is quite a busy one. We have two of the relegated teams. We have got Sunderland at home. And we've got Hull City away. A very difficult match there away from home against Hull. We've then got Brentford who have been having a very good season. I don't know if they're still doing as well as they were at the start. But they were having a very good season nonetheless. So Brentford are in there. We've got Barnsley away. And we've got Nottingham Forest at home. Although we may leave that for the next episode and more than likely we will so we're going to get these four games done the games that i'm going to play hull will be definitely one of them and i'll probably make barnsley the other one because it's away from home meaning we sim the two home games right now if we take a look at the league table to see how all those are doing brentford still are in second place so maybe we play brentford instead but you can see hull are seventh sunderland are way down in 14th so we don't need to worry too much about them i can't remember the fourth team we're playing now barnsley are 22nd so maybe we can sim that maybe today we just play brentford uh, and hull as the two games hull battling it out for that sixth place quite a few teams in contention there i would say rangers are the the furthest down the table but still have a chance they're only five points off so from from six to twelve still a lot to play for for that six place spot and um, but anyway we've got a couple of big games as you know things are going well i believe the team is fully fit as you can see there's the strongest team in my opinion it's looking fine not too much to worry about and we just overall need to keep up the great form that we've had we picked up obviously a couple of losses in the last episode which was annoying takes our total up to three losses but you know what we can handle it it's fine we're still having a magnificent season 79 points we are home home clear clear run home run whatever you want to call it to the trophy we will be in the premier league next season without a shadow of a doubt anyway i'll stop talking and we'll get to the whole game. sunderland game but one thing i want to point out is we have found a gem by the looks of things robin johnson johnson uh, I, I don't know uh, i think it's johnson we signed him as a youth player and as you can see here um he's got a very decent potential 87 to 94 he's going to reach so he will be one of the best players in the world we're going to have a swedish god in our team so let's just promote him to the senior team just now these other two players still also good but we'll give them a bit more time to develop mostly because one of them was still at 15 i think uh, we've got some other scout reports that we'll check later that Jonsson guy will be someone who will be very good for the future. Now, the Sunderland game is the first game, not Hull. We're going to sim that. Oh, look at this. Scott Sinclair, player of the month. Very nice. There you go. Scott Sinclair standing there with his wee trophy. Uh, first game, Sunderland. I'm going to field the attacking lineup, the strongest team in my opinion. We should be able to win here. I'm sure we went to the Stadium of Light and beat them. Uh, and we do win. Scott Sinclair continues his great form as he just won player of the month by scoring two goals. So fantastic for him there. We win 2-1. That gives us three more points. Uh, also, Sviatchenko is back from suspension. And now... We go to the whole game where I'm going to probably just feel the exact same team. Uh, and also the Scotland squad thing is coming up soon. I'm going to feel the exact same team. Uh, if I sh I'll, I'll let you if there is any changes. Turns out a lot of the players are actually quite tired. So there, there, there is a few changes. Uh, Gamboa is coming in for Lustig. We've got Svietchenko coming in over Holden. We've got Diaz starting this game. His first start for us. Uh, Roberts is tired but he's still starting. Griffiths is starting over Dembele because Dembele is quite tired. The rest of the team is pretty much the same so things are looking decent every time i look at the kcom stadium i don't know if it's just me it, it's kind of similar to hamden except from it's a lot closer to the pitch you don't get the big giant running track kind of thing at the goal ends but it's the same kind of shape uh, and there's like two tiers at the main stand and the rest is like one tier all the way it just it kind of suck it reminds me of hamden a bit but anyway we're here uh hopefully we'll beat hull it's trying to chase down Klukas. he's done a job um okay i thought it was a free kick Save Gordon. I thought they were going to get a free kick there, so I kind of stopped playing. There was an advantage getting played for something. Didn't get it, but save from Gordon. Tierney, on you go. That was a lovely wee turn from Kieran Tierney. Oh, Tierney's went by him. Hey, Tierney's still going. Just shoot. Kieran Tierney. Oh, not far. 
Keaton Tierney took out about half the whole team there. Uh, getting past half of them. They got past the final man. Uh, just decided to shoot. And it was not a bad effort. Patrick Roberts. So, okay, we tried to go for something fancy. Didn't exactly what. But Patrick Roberts has found a wee bit of space. Maybe down the right here. Can we maybe cut in with Paddy? We can cut in. Patrick Roberts. Ah, oh, I wanted to do a low-driven shot. And it does that to me. I pressed B twice. You could probably hear me pressing it twice. And he skies it. I wanted to drive it low into the bottom corner. And it's done that. It's a pain. He has... Griffiths, that's nice, I love Ian Charm, I've put too much power into that. Oh, not the worst chance, but I mean, it was a very good chance it was created, but the finish was abysmal, it was going directly like the keeper as well, if it was down low. Griffiths, keep going Griffiths, strikes it low, into the bottom corner, marvellous finish from Lee Griffiths, we are up 1-0, there we go, take a wee bit of the Lewandowski celebration. Diaz with a nice wee pass to Griffiths, a lovely turn, and the shot is drilled so low into the bottom corner, the keeper's never going to be able to reach across. Fantastic finish, brilliant finish from Griffiths. We don't play him an awful lot, but that's why we've kept him here at the club, so fantastic, 1-0. That's a long, no one was marking him. Schaub got a decent uh, attempt at off there, no one was marking him at all, poor defending. I've seen Sinclair attempt to go in, but no marking Oh, shite. Who was there? Once again, Shob has been left entirely open. It's like there's an instruction not to mark him. And he's been gifted a goal. Look at this. No one is marking him. Look at his run. Look at the run he makes. No one's following him. Scott Brown gives up and following him. That's pish. That's piss poor. Awful from the computer defensively. And it's 1-0. There we go. And Cham. Nice, 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 nice. What a wee ball for Sinclair. I see someone running deep. It's Patrick Roberts, but it's got to go to Lee Griffiths instead. And Griffiths has put that wide. How has he missed that? An open head off from about six yards. And he's put it wide. Oh, for fuck. No, Abel Hernandez is outpaced this. And what a finish. What a fucking finish from Abel Hernandez. We're down 2 1. Just like that. We're up 1 0. And now we're down 2 1. That's annoying. That is very annoying. What a finish, though. Yeah, just look at it one more time. You see, we're just out. Sviatchenko was never going to catch him. And what a strike on the top corner. 2 1, we need to put it back. And Gamboa gave away a penalty. And he's off. If we don't save this penalty, it is game over. Abel Hernandez steps up for Hull and slots it beautifully. 3 1. It's a pain. We've lost two games playing now. Last episode, we lost to Red, now Hull. But we're up 1-0. It's just dawned on me for that game. I didn't turn on game volume. So one game in this episode will have music in the background. And one will have the actual game volume. So I do apologise about that. Uh, but aye, we lose the first game we play this episode. So that takes a win-loss tally for today's episode to a win the loss. We want to get to 100 points. We've got 10 games to go. From those 10 games, we can get 30 points. Uh, which means we can we can easily finish on 100 points. Uh, just don't mess it up. We've lost four times now, which is slightly annoying. Um, to some of the better teams, I suppose, which makes it a bit understandable and a bit more tolerable. But at the end of the day, I still don't want to lose a lot of games. I want to end the season with as little losses as possible. So now we've got Brentford, which is the game I said I was also going to play. It looks as though we're going to need to rotate a little bit as well for this game. As you can see, there are a few tired players on the park. The centre half looked in, uh, not injured, tired. Patrick Roberts looked tired. Uh, just get them in the red and white. We can't be having them in green. No, no, no. So a few changes are going to be made. We're going to bring in Holden. We're also going to bring in Boyata. That's completely different. The back line is basically going to be completely different. Uh, we're going to actually give Calvin Miller a go. Uh, and at left back and James Forrest will be the final substitution uh, and that is the team for the game against Brentford I've also decided to put the headset on because I didn't really enjoy playing in silence last game so we're going to see if that was the key to winning having the headset oh stop playing it so fast Brentford oh jeez oh man what is happening we can't defend at the minute hello James Forrest hello on you go son on you go Jamesy Jamesy Forrest there's Dembele Dembele for Sinclair I don't know how you missed them. I don't know how you missed them. Uh, no, 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 no. The defender was... Thank you, Craig Gordon. What a keeper. What a fucking beautiful man. Oh, Holden. 
Holding. Holding. What was that clearance? Mmm, it nearly cost us a goal. I'm getting angry. I'm getting so frustrated. Off. Armstrong. Dembele. Nice wee ball through for Stuart Armstrong. Too big a touch. We all noticed there's a few changes in the team. I decided to go back and play a different team. I wasn't comfortable with the one I was originally sending out, but Miller's still there, for example. Slight differences. Olivier and Cham. Hold up, maybe. Nah. Brown and Cham. Dembele back for Brown. Over the bar. Nice intentions, but finish wasn't great. Dembele. Oh, that's beautiful for him. Cham. Why did I put so much power in that? Uh, he's gave a penalty. How is that a penalty? Calvin Miller's gave it away. I feel bad because Miller's had a decent game. But there was no chance in hell that was a penalty, my uh, We have to deal with it now. Right, okay, penalty. Vibe to take it. Vibe will score it. We're down 1 0. It's just. Legendary is now hot. Oh, pure button. But yeah, uh, Rob Holden. Rob Holden is pouncing down the wing. He's famous for it. He finds Dembele! He's finally scored after fucking God knows how long it feels since scoring with Dembele. But Rob Holden! Rob Holden pouncing down the wing. What a familiar sight that is. Rob Holden pounces down and I let Dembele forwards a nice run. We could not pass him. A good finish. 1-0. We're back in it. Where was the Martin Calvin? So, right, this might be the last chance. I might not even get a chance from it to be fair. Uh, and we'll definitely not get a chance from it now because the pass was awful. 1-0. Do what? Better than a loss. Um, it was quite an even game, so maybe it's deserved. But I wanted to win. That about does it for this episode. I think there's a lot of game to sim now. Uh, so we'll get that simmed and such. And that should about do it for this episode. Things have gone... Eh, win, lost, a draw so far. We've got one more game. That's against Barnsley away from home, which, because it's away from home, I can just see already that Barnsley are going to end up fucking beating us, which would be nasty. But here we go, for the first ever time, I pick a Scotland team. For the first time, I will pick my own team. I can tell you right now, Jamie McDonald out, Craig Gordon in, and maybe Archer might go out as well. He will, for, for Alan McGregor. Uh, this is this is nice, picking my own team. Uh, it feels very nice indeed. Now, I've not got the best players in the world, I know that. Matt Ritchie should be in there, though. Let's... Let's be honest, let's get Matt Ritchie in. Um, who do I take out for Matt Ritchie though? That's the thing. Because I've actually got quite a decent midfield here. I think maybe Fraser, but he's the only left winger we've got in the team. This is this is quite difficult, isn't it? There's quite a few players there who arguably should be in the team. Um, Barry McKay, I guess we can probably take him out and bring in Matt Ritchie, let's do that. Um, Callum McGregor, I feel like, should be picked over, say, Morrison, um, or maybe even Gold. So, although I want to test Gold out in case we decide to bring him in in the future. So, we're going to take out James Morrison, and we're going to bring in Callum McGregor. I feel like there's going to be an outrage if I don't pick up Ryan Jack, but you know what? Fuck it, I'm not picking him. Uh, the defence is looking pretty what you'd expect, so we'll take that. Uh, that'll do. There's the first ever team that I'm going to pick for Scotland. And I guess the only thing left to do in this episode is, as I mentioned, Sim against Barnsley. Right, I don't want to risk losing, so I'm fielding the strongest team because we've already dropped enough points in this episode. We've lost a game uh, and we've drawn a game. So I definitely do not want to drop more points. So I'm playing the strongest team and we drop more points. A late equaliser does it for us and we draw the game. Armstrong gets our goal. And this episode wasn't the greatest of episodes. I'll tell you that. 38 games are not long to go now. Only what eight more games to play in the league we are sitting top we're pretty much in the premier league but there you go if you have enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode hope you have if you did like subscribe as i said i'll see you next time